What up, though? What's cracking with all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there? I hope everyone in my Scorpio collective is doing well. So we're about to get into these messages. I got a little spread going. We're going to get into it and see what it is. That spirit wants you to know. If you happen to find us on Resonate, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. If you're interested in a personal, my information will be in the description box below. Some of you have also been asking about uh, the intro song. Now, I don't know which video, what I put for the intro song when I do it, but I do have all those songs listed in the description box. So if you check it out, you will find it, okay? So let's get into it, y'all. So we have friendship and union. So I feel like for some of you, you will come into union or you will be, you know, meeting people that's like on your soul tribe, okay? These are like like-minded people, people who are very insightful. They're going to encourage you. So if you felt disconnected or out of place for some time, know that you are moving into a more supportive and joyful space. Your angel guides are encouraging you to connect deeply with those you trust the most. Ask yourself, how can you bring the whole of yourself into a relationship or a friendship? Be present, listen, open up, smile, laugh, venture forth, and enjoy this time, okay? So I feel like for some of you doing this, this energy, okay, we do have Venus is in Leo right now, okay? So this could be a time of coming together, maybe coming together with family, friends, but I feel like for some of you, this it's like you starting to meet your soul tribe. You starting to connect with other people who are like-minded, think like you, act like you, things of that nature, okay? I feel like you are starting to connect with these people because you are going through a transformation. Things in your life are changing, okay? And you're allowing these things to change. Some of you are starting to step into your purpose, but I feel like this transformation that you're going to experience, it just won't be physically. It's going to be mentally and spiritually as well so you may be called to declutter your space maybe you need to clean out your car show me clean out mine scorpio clean out your car vacuum out your car clean out your space if you got a whole bunch of clutter and junk junk in your house clean that out and allow this energy to flow clearly okay you may be feeling like if you feel like in the past that you were being held back but I feel like all of those blocks, blockages, things that were holding you back in the past, like those things are going to be removed because you have blessings and abundance coming to you, baby. For some of you, shit, it could have, it may have been some friends or family members or people that you also have to separate from as well because these blessings that you was about to get, spirit didn't want you sharing this shit with nobody. Okay. You're being encouraged to trust your intuition and any other guidance that you are receiving at this time, and it will lead you to tremendous growth and fulfillment. Many blessings are being showered upon your present situation. If you have not experienced them, just know that they will be revealed and shared in the perfect time, space, and sequence here, okay? All right, so we got some more messages here. We got burn. So I feel like for some of you, Scorpio, you know, for us, see, we don't got burned when it comes to love. We got burned with people in love, family members, friends, you know what I'm saying? Like, shit, we tired of being burnt. So I feel like because we've accepted a lot of, I ain't gonna say accepted, I feel like we've dealt with a lot of betrayal, family members, people close to us, right? And you know, we just had to keep it pushing, Scorpio, but I feel like for a lot of us, like, that really is why we have trust issues. I know I do. I'm like, shit, if I can't trust my own family, mom and dad, then who the hell I'm supposed to trust? So I feel like we've been burnt. But what we have to understand is, and it's so hard for Scorpio because shit, my mentality is shit. If you lie to me once, you lie all the time. You do this one, like, you know, and it, I don't know if it's just us or what it is, but we have to kind of got to get out this energy, right? We have to, you know, accept what has happened, take those as lessons, but not look at everybody as the same. Not look at everybody that's going to be somebody that's going to hurt us, okay? We have to let someone in and then be able to love again. Now, I feel like for some of you, this can be a relationship, this can be a marriage, this can be whatever. I feel like things have been very rocky. Things may have been rocky between you and someone else, just things been rocky, period. But I feel like this is really like a situation or a relationship, okay? It's been a rocky road for you and this person. 
But it's time for you to decide whether it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? Or to keep going, or it's time to cut this shit out. So I feel like for some of you, there's a decision in love that you have to make, okay? There's been a relationship or a, a friendship or a connection that's been kind of rocky. It's been really up and down, you know? And it's, you, it's time for you to decide, like, do you want this? Or do you need to cut this off, okay? Maybe this is someone who's had you feeling lost, okay? Remember I gave you that example? I don't know if you guys... Um, now, some days, Scorpio, I may not do Scorpio readings, okay? I'm going to do collective. I'm going to do Zodiac. But I'm encouraging y'all to check out the collective readings as well, okay? They still going to hear. I still pick up on y'all energy. But as a reader, I ain't going to lie, Scorpio. I like doing the collective because I get to see all aspects. You know what I'm saying? I see Scorpio. I do the Zodiac. But the collective readings be different for me, okay? So I feel like you've been lost. I gave an example yesterday. You can't see the forest for the trees in a way, okay? Maybe you feel like someone here has abandoned you. Maybe you have been abandoned by people, loved ones, okay, or by a certain someone. But there is a deeper connection that's coming. So for some of you, this is a decision that you're going to have to make. This could have been someone that unburned you, that done hurt you over and over again. You know, things have been really rocky between you and this person. But it's time for you to decide, are you going to keep this situation going? Or are you going to be open for this new, deeper connection that's trying to come in, okay? So let's pull some messages from my divine feminine. Let's see how you guys are feeling at this time. If anything has resonated with you so far, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and also comment. Messages for my Scorpios. We're going to pull some messages from the divine feminine. Let's see what's going on with my divine films here. All right, messages for Scorpio. Hmm. All right, so we have, I feel as if I really don't know you. I feel like for some of you, the reason why you can be feeling like this about a person is because time has passed. You know what I'm saying? You and this person may have been in this relationship or whatever for a little while now. And you know, in the beginning, when you get, some, get, get with somebody, you know, they're trying to charm you and they're showing you this and that. But I feel like now, as time, as time has passed, it's like you're starting to see someone's true colors. And you like, oh. That ain't the motherfucker I met two, three years ago or last month. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like some of you really feel like you don't know this person because the person that you thought you knew, that, why, that wasn't this person, okay? And for some of you, it got you confused. You know, like, hold on, you know? Like, things could have been very good, you know, all sweet in the beginning. It's like, now, it ain't all that sweet. Tell us more, Holly Spirit. Why don't you reply to my text, okay? So someone could be ignoring you purposely. You text them, it takes them hours, days to text you back. But, you know, when they hit you, you text them back. You know, so you don't understand why it's taking this person so long to text you or why they choosing not to text you back, period. Because in the beginning, I feel like this is someone like, shit, as soon as you send a text, they were sending a text right back now. You know, you can hardly get this person to to text you, show you that attention that you were receiving in the beginning. How can you say you love me but don't treat me the way, or treat me the way that you do? So someone can mimic the words and say I love you, but their actions, actions be louder than words, baby. Anybody can say I love me. Anybody can say I care about you and I want you, but do you treat me that way? Do you show me you love me? And if you don't, they answer your question. How long is it going to take for you to tell me the truth? So some of you already know the truth. You just wait for this person to tell you the damn truth. You're like, damn. Like, you still ain't going to tell me the truth? Like, man, it's been about two, three years now. You still ain't ready to tell me the truth about, you know, what's been going on or about this situation here? Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. Now, for some of you, you've been on a journey with someone, right? You've had to walk away. For some of you, you've already made the decision when it comes to love. No, it's right here. You've already made a decision when it comes to love, right? And now I feel like some of you have to take a different path on this person. And you're happy. You're proud of the person that you have become. So possibly walking away from someone, pulling your energy back like you were able to accomplish things. You know, you could have been stuck. Things could have been going your way. And a lot of times, Scorpio, what I'm learning myself is when we're doing things we ain't supposed to be doing or Spirit don't want us to do or be around people we're not supposed to be around. Like, it's always going to be something. See what I'm saying? It's always going to be something. 
I know I'm not the only one you're dealing with. Mm. So some of you may have found out the truth and maybe you know you're not the only one. You just waiting for this person. Hey, keep it real with you and let you know what's going on. You know, it's the difference between you knowing and the person telling you the truth here. Let's get one more. Look at this. Why can't you just tell me the truth? I feel like for some of you, this is what really burns you with someone is that you, it seems like you always kind of dealt with lies. People that just can tell the damn truth to say, yo, they ass, you know? So I feel like for some of you, you could have been dealing with someone who just lied all the damn time, you know? Or maybe you found out some type of truth. I don't know, but you just wanted this person just to tell you the damn truth. I don't know about y'all, Scorpio. I just love for people to tell me the truth. Shit, keep it real with me. That made me respect you and want you even more. You know what I'm saying? So let's see who this reading is about for Scorpio. All right, so we got Heavy Sag. Ooh, Heavy Sag, Heavy Taurus. We got the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer. And we got the Libra, Capricorn, Leo, and Virgo. All right, you guys, I love you. And until next time, stay blessed.